Welcome back to Radical and Relevant. I'm Matthew Kelly. I love having this time with you each day um, to talk about the gospel, to reflect on the gospel. And remember, each day we're just looking for one word, one phrase, one idea. However the Spirit stirs you so that that word, phrase, or idea can inform the way you live your day today. And today's reading is from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 11, verses 47 through 54. Woe to you, for you build the tombs of the prophets whom your fathers killed. So you are witnesses and consent to the deaths of your fathers, for they killed them and you build their tombs. Therefore also, the wisdom of God said, I will send them prophets and apostles, some of whom they will kill and persecute. That the blood of all the prophets shed from the foundation of the world may be required of this generation. From the blood of Abel to the blood of Zechariah, who perished between the altar and the sanctuary. Yes, I tell you, it shall be required of this generation. And woe to you lawyers, for you have taken away the key of knowledge. You did not enter yourselves, and you hindered those who were entering. And as he went away from there, the scribes and Pharisees began to press him hard and to provoke him to speak on many things, lying in wait to catch him at something he might say. What jumps out at you today? Pharisees, they're like, they're trying to catch him. They're trying to, they're waiting for him. They're like, they want to ambush him. And, uh, you know, I think sometimes there's people like that in our lives, unfortunately, it can be personally, can be professionally. Maybe that's what jumped out at you today. Uh, he talks about the, the prophets and, and how generation after generation had, had killed and persecuted these prophets. Who came to speak to them about God's word, who came to speak to them um, you know, about the truth. And uh, we, get, we get very comfortable in our lives sometimes, or at least comfortable in our, our our untruths and uh, sometimes we prefer something that's false over something that's true because the false is more comfortable and truth does convict us truth does challenge us to change truth does challenge us to grow and and that can be threatening that can be certainly uncomfortable and so uh, what truth is God trying to speak into your life at the moment and, and how are you opening yourself to that or resisting that? So many things. But what jumped out at you? What was the word, phrase, or idea that jumped out at you today? And how are you going to reflect on that as you go about your day? Have a great day. Remember, don't just be yourself. Be the very best version of yourself, all that God created you to be.